So, Jeff Loomis, Jens Bogren, and Joey Sturgis Tones release an M Sim together. Is it any good in the mix? How does it compare to other M Sims in the market? And what's special about this new shiny M Sim? Let's take a look, shall we? Hey guys, James here from James App Productions. It's been a while since JST released their last M Sim which was the Tongforge Misha Mansour. So I'm very curious to see if they step up the game with this new Tongforge plugin. This review consists of four parts. First, I will showcase Tongforge Jeff Loomis in a fully mixed metal song containing fast and melodic riffs. There will be both a rhythm tone and a lead tone. I'll also show you the tones uh, soloed before and after processing for that particular mix. Second, I'll play with the controls of the MSIM on clean guitar, rhythm guitars, and lead guitar so you can hear all the tonal options you can get from this MSIM. Third, I'll compare Toneforge Jeff Loomis to a few MSIMs from Mercurial. To keep this video to a digestible length, I'll be comparing Toneforge Jeff Loomis to other Toneforge MSIMs and ones from Neuro DSP and SDL tones in future videos. So subscribe if you want to see those. At the end of the video, I'll share with you my thoughts on the MSIM. As usual, I'm leaving my personal opinions at the very end so you can come to your own conclusions first based on what you hear. I do want to mention that this review is from a mixing engineer's perspective. So it's all about how it sounds, not how it feels playing a guitar with it. Okay, let's take a listen to Toneforge Jeff Loomis in a full mix.
Now, I'm going to play with Tone Force Jeff Loomis so you can get an idea what kind of tones you can create. We're going to start with the rhythm guitars and then we're going to check out the leads and then the cleans. <laughs>
Now I'm going to do some comparisons. So here I have Tone Force Jeff Loomis U530, which is an emulation on the Angle E530, Spark, which is an emulation on the Marshall AFD100, and Reaxis, which is an emulation on the Mesa Boogie Triaxis. I'm comparing Tone Force Jeff Loomis to these three because Mercurial has some of the best sounding and the most realistic amp sip I've ever heard. Again, I'll be comparing Tone Forge Jeff Loomis to more amp sims in future videos. I have three different pairs of guitar DIs here, all from different guitarists using different guitars, strings, and tunings, and recorded with different gear. So we've got some variations here. I made a copy of them for each of the amp sims, and if you look at a mixer, there is no post-processing on any of them. I just did some basic tweaking to them so they got a good tone going. All right, let's take a listen. So now that you have heard quite a lot from the Tone Forge Jeff Loomis amp sim, what are your thoughts on it? Tell me in the comments below. I actually read and reply to all your comments. Personally, as a mixing engineer, not a guitarist, I think it's overall quite good, but I do have some mixed feelings about it. Let's start with what I don't like so we can end on a good note. To my ears, Tone Forge Jeff Loomis still suffers from the same issue that the other Tone Forge amp sims have, which is that it has kind of a digital and flat sound, although to a much lesser degree this time. I feel like it doesn't have the kind of uh, three-dimensional depth or the movement that some other amp sims have, especially in the guitar chucks comparison earlier in the video. 
I also wish it came with some new IRs from GST instead of the same ones from the previous Toneforge plugins. Before I get to the pros, I just wanted to ask, why isn't there a trial? Most MSIMs nowadays have a trial period, and I know for sure that iLock supports that. To me, not offering a trial when you're able to do so sends me the message that you're not confident in your product. So I hope there is a legitimate reason for the lack of a trial version. Now, I do have quite a few good things to say about the MSIM. First of all, the dual cap feature, yes please. Being able to mix two different IRs with a slider is amazing. I've wanted to see this feature in other MSIMs ever since I used the Will Putney one from SDL Tones. I was able to get some really sick tones from Toneforge Jeff Loomis thanks to this dual cap feature. While I said uh, Toneforge Jeff Loomis can sound a bit digital and flat before, with some post-processing, you can get some pretty awesome rhythm tones. And the lead tones are actually really good and require minimum post-processing. I feel like the 4-cap IRs from Bogren Digital sound a lot better as lead tones than as rhythm tones, but that could just be me. I also want to mention the awesome MIDI capabilities Toneforge Jeff Loomis has. Now, I'm not a gigging musician, so I won't be getting into the details, but JST certainly made this MSIM to be very easy to use live. Lastly, I think Toneforge Jeff Loomis is quite an improvement over the other Toneforge MSIMs in terms of sound. It just has less of that plasticky and digital character now, and is sounding more real. I will be making more videos comparing Toneforge Jeff Loomis to other uh, Toneforge MSIMs and also ones from uh, Neuro DSP and SDL Tones, so subscribe if that sounds interesting to you. That's it for this video. Give it a like if you find it helpful and informative. Subscribe if you want to see more awesome music production content from this channel. Now get back to your DAW and make some music, and I will see you next time.